This is a poem that's an issue that's very close to my heart. It's something that a lot of uh, individuals living in San Antonio have probably dealt with, but it's something that we don't usually talk about. And so it's kind of hard. I've had different reactions to this poem, but I really hope that you see that it's just a positive message that I'm trying to put out there. This poem is for anybody who's ever looked at the color of my skin and thought that I must be privileged. This poem is for every brown face in that first day of sixth grade that stared me down in the school cafeteria because I was the odd man out, so I sat alone. This poem is for late night double takes in neighborhood convenience stores and cops slowing down to ask me what side of town I'm from, like, um, this is my house, officer. Well, then you best get on inside, because a pretty little thing like you ain't got no business on streets like these. Streets like these? Please, I run these streets. Night and day I run these streets, dodging curfews and street lights to stay in the nightlife. Try to avoid a street fight, but let your crew know that you're down for it. And if ever there is a downpour, find the nearest ledge and head forward and post up with your skateboard. This is the life I live for. Late nights with no TV and a broken AC, cockroaches crawling on me. I got calluses on my toes from running bare feet. Tinder skin on abrasive streets and people like you look at me. Like by the tone of me, you could notice me. Like by the way the light hits, you could focus me. Calling me privileged and I ask you, was I privileged when I was jumped by three over this color of my skin? When I had nothing to eat because of the place where I lived? Walking home on dark streets when I was just a kid? Was I privileged then? Imagine that I had no skin. Someone like you would probably just find some other way to prejudge me besides color because with people like you, if it's not one thing, it's another, so why should I bother? It's because despite this skin color, we are connected to one another. Despite the skin color, we are reflected by one another, not to be rejected by one another, but respected by one another. And despite this skin color, we're all pink inside. And we all live this life for just one ride, for worse or for better, we all feel the same weather, hey. If everybody came from a dad and a mom, doesn't that make us all the same? Can't we all just get along? Sometimes I sit and think for hours, maybe if we were blind, we could see past this barrier. They say losing one sense heightens the others. So maybe if we could just lose our sense of pride and prejudice, we can work towards the acknowledgement that we are all one people. So the next time that you see me and think that just because I'm white, can't dance, or I ain't got no soul. Think again, and know that the only privilege I have over you is the privilege of going through everything I've gotten into so I can look at you and forgive you when you do not understand, and it's been a privilege to have met you. I hope we can be friends. Yeah.